You already know the vibes. We got a real special show. I ain't gonna talk through the intro because we're so gonna talk through the intro. I just be so excited, man. You know what I mean? Real shit. I intro only 15 seconds long, nigga. I can't wait. <laughs> Yo, 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 you know the vibes, man. We back with a very special guest. Yes, sir. From Chicago, representing the crib, Chicago legend. Just dropped a cold ass. I'ma say it. I'ma just call it out. It's a classic. <laughs> yeah, he got you know some, what I mean? Yeah, it's a classic with legendary features with, on that motherfucker. You feel me? It's a great yeah. body of work and everything. Yeah, bro. it's a real album. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know Appreciate if you was going it. for a mixtape vibe or an album vibe, but it's definitely an album vibe. Definitely feeling the skits. You feel me? I'm a big fan of Billions. I'm a big fan of motherfucking New Jack City. So I was definitely coming from where you was coming from. So shout out to Chicago legend, Goon Squad. Yes, sir. (laughs) You know, we got my boy Parquet in the building. What up? What up? What up? What up? What up? 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 Man, thank you for coming, man. It's an honor. It's a privilege. It's a pleasure. Go ahead, man. Get your drink. Yeah, yeah. Pour you a drink. Man, my man. Real talk. We waiting on DJ Don Ryan, little bro, to come back with the ice. But go ahead, get yourself some. How you feeling today, man? Oh, man, I'm good. I'm good. I woke up, baby. Yeah, man. (laughs) It's a blessing up your eyes every morning, man. Man, Any day above ground is a good day. We can figure the rest out. Talk about it. You feel me? So, man, we're going to get this interview started because it's a lot I want to know about Parquet because I know about the bars. Everybody know about the bars. When you talk about Chicago, you feel me, lyricists, you got to mention Parquet. When you talk Bump J, you got to mention Parquet. (laughs) You feel me? So... Where's your upbringing from, bro? Like, where you from in the city of Chicago? Uh, I'm from the low end, man. I'm from the south side, man. I'm okay. from the low end, yeah. Yeah, I heard you shout out the hobos and shit. You know what I mean? That's what Chicago history and that. Yeah, yeah, You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Real talk. So, what part of Chicago are you from low end? What, what, what's the uh, street? What intersection uh, was you catching yeah. parquet back in the day? The whole <laughs> one from low end. Man, mm-hmm. you from shit. From 51st all the way back down to 18th. Damn, mm-hmm. okay. Yeah. For shit. real. Mm-hmm. Everywhere. Real shit. So man, I got my family stumping grounds was in the Robert Taylor home. You used to deal over there, you feel me? You had dealings over there? Mm-hmm. You said you was all through Robert Taylor's the Green Greens, all that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he got the smell on his yeah, face. Yeah, he said that was a good time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 So, yeah. We were rotating. Yes, sir. We were rotating. Love and what, man? When the buildings were still up. Mm-hmm. That's what that, That's what I can say. About Parquet, because I asked some of my hip hop here homies questions about you and shit. Like, niggas that's known from the West Side, South Side, and everything, bro. Ain't no bad blood, no bad terms, right. no bad. You can't talk bad on his name, bro. Nobody is smoking <laughs> bad on your name, bro. Yeah, so, how you keep how you keep that good energy, you feel me, in a, in a fucked up city? I mean, shit, I don't know, bro. I just, you know, I stay me. You know, I just keep being me, bro. I mm-hmm. stay official. Keep it A1, you know, play by the rules. Just keep it 1,000. So how long you would say you have been rapping for? And what was the start of, the, of your uh, music career? Shout out to DJ yeah. Don Ron, he just stepped in the building. Uh, what that, what that, what that, my dog. Well, shit, um, when I was, I first like started when I was 16. Like that's when I first like started trying to do this shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Shit, uh, you know, just work my way up. Just work my way up from there. But That's I started awesome. when I was 16. Yeah, bust the bag down. Mm-hmm. So around what era you would say, like, who was running hip-hop, Chicago hip-hop around your era when you were 16? Oh, uh, man. Common, Shauna, Twister, Ooh. you know, Bum J, mm-hmm. um, mm-hmm. Mickey Halstead, um Legends. Man, like, yeah. all the You name it real people, lyricists, Crucial too. Conflict, <laughs> um, Psycho Drama, um, uh-huh. The Go-Getters. Um, like it was, man, it was a bunch of dope ass. Shout people. out to the go getter. Shout out to Don C G L C. Yeah, everybody, man. Like you know, I was around. We was the era. I was about to say so. Uh, besides Bump, who you would have to say is your your, your favorite Chicago artist? Myself. Ooh. Okay, on. okay, we got we got to omit yourself. We got to omit you because we we know you up there, bro. Oh. All right, but well, shit, we you and Bump because you know we got the respect for Bump. So who 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 will come third on Parquet's list? All right, we ain't gonna put it in no order. Okay, we gonna put it in no order. Just yeah. So shit, Sly, hmm? Sly, Sly Polar Road. Oh yeah, shout no. out Sly, shout out Sly, shout out Brain Scrambler. Yeah. Yeah. Sly and you know, I ain't gonna lie, I ain't too. Knowledge upon hip hop heads, but it's one of my guys, J.O. the Hood Topic. He be putting me on all the Chicago oh legends for real. 
and everybody you naming, bro. I'm, this everybody telling me about the history of Chicago, and it's like, damn. Yeah, shout out to Sly, man. You can't say Chicago. You can't say Goon Squad. You can't say Mix Chase without Sly. Real shit. Shout out to Sly. So this album, man, American Greed. What mindset were you in? Because this shit bangers all the way through. <laughs> you just sitting real humble with the Tom Ford shades. Uh, <laughs> you feel me? Like, nah, real, my doubt. Is real, man. I'm already knowing. So tell my us nigga. about it, man. Well, actually, American Greed, uh, I had two projects before that, man. Um, I ain't like I didn't know what the fuck to do, right? Uh, I dropped the project, and then it just wasn't sonically fit for everything that was going on with the times. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So... I was just adjusting and adapting to the sounds that was going. Mm. So then I did a whole nother project trying to change the sound up to get that shit to sound like up to what the fucking industry is doing. So mm -hmm. that shit didn't like, I was like, nah. So I took the best like records from both projects and then I added some, some new ones to the third one and I called that motherfucking American Greed. Mm. So when it comes- Some skits and rock and roll. So when it comes to critiquing your projects before they come out, is it just a you thing or do you have a group of your guys, your team, the, the judges, like- Nah, it's just, yeah, 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 absolutely. You know what I mean? You knock out the records, you know what I mean? You see what's, what's right, what's good. You know, you shoot it around your camp. You shoot it around people who mm -hmm. you fuck with. See what they think about that shit and then, you know, you rock and roll. But you don't want too many opinions, you know what yeah. I mean? Because that shit will throw you off. So, you know, you just send a strong records to motherfuckers and rock and roll with them. Okay, okay. And, you know. Mm -hmm. So how long you been rapping, big bro? Since I've been, like, I started when I was 16. 16. So when did you feel like the elevation in the city, like the city started knowing who Parquet was? Like, what age? Oh, uh, shit. I don't know, like, I guess like when uh when Goon Squad grew, you mm. know, when the name grew, and you know, when we just started, we just started rocking and rolling, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. So that was like around the early, like 2000, 2003? Yeah. So I ain't gonna lie, Goon Squad, yeah, Chicago on lock. 2000, 2000. You couldn't, mention Goon, you couldn't mention Chicago without mentioning two true. artists at that point in time. It was No, I'd say three. Because mm -hmm. it was either Kanye, Twister, and Bump Headed on the Streets. I ain't That's gonna lie to you. Lowly. I Facts. ain't gonna lie. Facts. I'm gonna let y'all in on the secret, man. When I was high school, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06. Y'all niggas. You was in high school for six track. years? Damn, I did make it sound like a long time. I yeah, came yeah. out 02. I came uh, in 02. I came out 06. You feel me? That's four right. years. But yeah. <laughs> fucking, uh, you like six years, niggas. <laughs> right. like, damn. Y'all, for real, G. Like, no lie, no <laughs> cap. We was either listening to y'all or we was listening to 3 6 Mafia. We was listening to Gucci. We was listening to Jeezy. No, like, y'all was always the first choice. No. You feel me? Like, real shit. Respect. Like, this shit right here is monumental for me because we get niggas on the show all the time, but you feel me? In my eyes, y'all, you, you one of them niggas. Real Appreciate shit. Appreciate it, bro. Real love. shit. Real shit. All love. Real shit. Now, I ain't gonna lie, man. I was trying to, like, decide what song I wanted to talk about. I know. Mm -hmm. This is my favorite song. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna cut y'all right now. What song is that, Chad? <laughs> You and Sai High, how the fuck that happened? Oh, that's my nigga. Sai High, <laughs> you know, Sai High, like, I had Sai High since Sai High was, like, a freshman in high school. You know Whoa, what I'm okay. Yeah. Talk you about know, it. That was, you know, that's my little bro. Yeah. Uh, actually, I had a crib. Uh, well, actually, I had a family. I had family in the A. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, uh, his son um, is uh, Pito, Pito the Plug in, yeah. uh, in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Pito lit. And uh, Pito and uh, Saha was like best friends, you yeah. know. They had a group called they had a group called uh, the Young Talianos, mm. and um, and uh, actually I was moved in the crib, and I was like the oldest, so I was I had to watch over them. Yes. You know what I mean? Real shit. So you know them niggas was coming through recording. So that's every like day. They family. The studio. Oh, that's definitely family. Yeah. That's why I said it's little bro. Yeah. So he's coming through there. I had him since he was like 13. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, Cause you know the bro. industry, like, oh, we family. We don't pass paps a couple oh, of times. No. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like, 
Yeah, yeah that's I ain't gonna lie, that track didn't sound organic. That's why I said, like, that was my favorite. So, no, absolutely. So, the thing was, uh, I was flying to uh, Atlanta one uh, I was flying to Atlanta one day to go get some records mixed down. <coughs> and then I called Sai High, let him know I was gonna be in the A, you know what I'm saying? Come through and rock out with me in the studio. Mm-hmm. He slid through, man. And, uh, you know, he came up with the whole idea. He was mm-hmm. like, nigga. He was like, we gonna call do some shit called long time ago, but that shit could be like yesterday. This shit could be like <laughs> last month or ten yeah. years ago. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and that's why I fuck with that shit. Cause that yeah. shit. Just even creating one, since like you saying it was hands on. How is it working with him? Yeah. Oh man, you're a genius, bro. You already know how that shit goes. Cause man. it really get in that bitch, and he he like. Like, you know, you gotta be on your shit to be in that one. Yeah, okay. yeah. Cause he really got the pen. Like oh, the, the, the pen the penmanship. And that's why I'm saying this nigga. I am sharp as iron. Right there with him, you feel me? And that shit wasn't it didn't feel like no nobody killed each other. You know what I mean? It just, just synatically it flowed. It was just like some real it made me think about shit I was on long ago listening to y'all <laughs> shit. I was in it yeah. like, yep. I can relate. Yeah. I definitely feel that. Yeah. So Sai, you feel shout me? Shout out Sai. That's my nigga. Yes, man. That's sir, my man. Dog. That's my bro. Shout out to Sai, man. We're going to have you on the episode one of these Yeah, days, we man. got you, bro. You got to definitely get us in tune, G. And speaking of relationships, how did you and Bump and like the whole Goon Squad link up? I mean, well, me and Bump been brothers since I've been 12 years old. Mm. You know what I'm <laughs> 13 years old. I met Bump was like when I was like eighth grade, freshman. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was coming to freshman in high school, then yeah. and Bump went to high school together. So what high school was that? We went to Hales. We went Y'all to went to Hales? Hales. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's we dope as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My homie went to Hills. Shout so out to Hills. Yeah, yeah, and then, uh, you know, and then Sly was on the next block. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Right on Drexel. Yeah. Okay. So we was right on Cottage, Sly yeah. was on Drexel. So it and all Bump and fit. Sly already had linked up and shit like that. And I knew Sly from coming up to die at Hooper. Yeah. So y'all was really on some Wu-Tang shit. Like y'all was already in the mix. It didn't yeah, rap we was happened. brothers for anything. And then rapping saying? happened. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's really so you said you were Hooper? Mm-hmm. Mm. You was, was Hooper Pills? What position? I was nice. I was the point, bro. <laughs> okay. You still got it? Uh, man, I used to. I ain't got it no more. I feel that. Let me see y'all. Some niggas be like, I be lying. So I'm. <laughs> be sure he still got an arm as a quarterback. <laughs> uh, <laughs> nigga be hitting everything but the target. Yeah. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> so you and Bump, y'all ever um thought about coming out with any future projects? Oh, uh, shit. You know, we didn't talk about a lot of ideas, man. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? It's just like, it's all time, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's all time, man. You know? Yeah. Because yeah. I was watching, I think it was back in 2017, y'all had some shit like, ah, uh, yeah. I forgot the Watch name. The I'm bad carpet. with names, bro. Mm-hmm. Watch the carpet. Yeah, yeah. bro. Oh, my tough. fucking yeah. God. My yeah. dog. Yeah, yeah, we was working. We yeah. was working. And that was around the time Bump came home, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. that's See, yeah, mm-hmm. I think I dropped, was it two songs back to back around that time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nigga, both of them numbers wise, mm-hmm. song wise, that was perfect. And that was a perfect time yeah. right there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good luck. I think like every city has like a, I'm not gonna say an underground, cause y'all above ground, you know what I mean? Yeah. But like y'all really the independent sound of Chicago. Like you as out of towners. Everybody know about Goon Squad. You feel uh, me? And they, it's not just like, oh yeah, Goon Squad, I know Chicago, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like they're really going to bump, parquet, slide. I know them niggas, I fuck with them niggas, you feel me? Like. Yeah. So, when when did y'all see like okay, we really got a hold on the city? Yeah, when is shit going? I mean, shit, we was moving, bro. Shit, we was moving around. You hear music coming out of every car driving by. Yeah, you know all over the city though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Shit, yeah. we actually hit hoods man and, and gave out cds out the car mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying we had shit you know niggas had relationships all over the city so and i heard like and not to cut you off to i heard around that time y'all was moving hundred thousand plus copies in, in the streets uh niggas was doing numbers <laughs> man. Not, uh, he said i ain't gonna say official numbers, numbers man, but i exactly the numbers i heard man, doing mm-hmm. numbers. i believe a hundred thousand because like you say everywhere you went you heard fall. some I heard y'all went gold in the streets, for real. Uh, I ain't gonna lie. So, <laughs> niggas definitely. 
He a part came been humble as hell since he walked in humble, the door. Man. Man. That's how you know he's a real one. <laughs> That's how you know he's a real one. You feel me? Most so. most niggas, man, they popping their shit, and it's like you got more talking than action. You feel me? And that's why, you feel me, you one of them guys that you don't really got to talk. You feel that's me? what I said. Uh, like, man. I don't hear no bullshit when it comes to Parquet's name. Really? And I asked a lot of my hip-hop here at home. He's like, I don't hear nothing wrong with it. Man, that nigga Cole, he he thorough. That's bump, homie. They're, they're, he they're, good. Then he a thorough nigga. Like, you feel me? Ass niggas, he been good for years. Like, you don't never hear no bullshit, bro. Ten fall. Mm-hmm. Ten fall. Nice. So it's... I just keep it solid, no, I just keep it solid, keep it 1,000 with that motherfucker, man, you know what I mean? Hey, engineer, can you queue up one of you them tracks I mean? for me? Shit, so how you stay yo. consistent for so long, though, man? Shit, your word is all you got. You don't get bored? I mean, it's hard staying consistent. I mean, shit, you just do you. I mean, it's like, shit, we out of culture, bro. Mm-hmm. You can't, like, you know, we can't play out. It's like, shit, we, you know. Yeah. We the ones. We yeah. gotta. We gotta keep it going. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like we gotta keep it fresh. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's gonna. It's gonna do what it's gonna do. Like, like all the young niggas. Like man, they lit right now. Like mm-hmm. you know what I mean? It's my head off to them niggas. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. They doing they shit. Yeah. Now, how did you? Speaking to the young niggas, that I see how y'all like. Well, you know, bump son. Of course, you know he doing this thing on the music. Shout out, shout shoot out, box, buddy. Shout, out, shout out, shout out, of course. We got to get bro on the show, too. But Man, Lil Bump, how did the, Shout out to Lil Bump. How did the relationship with you guys and Fat Money come about? Oh, that's all Bump. That's all mm. Bump and um, Shake. Yeah. Yeah, that's all Bump and Shake. Okay. Yeah, man, yeah. that's the bro, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Family, yeah. but you know what I mean? I had nothing to do with uh, recruiting the situation. Okay. Yeah, that was But he bump. is... Goon Squad, right? Is he part of the label or what's that situation? Uh, actually, I don't know that like the 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 business the business end of his situation, yeah. but he but family. he family. You okay. know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. And that's Good real. And that's family. real shit because you know most people, it's like, oh, we only fuck with you if you down with the, you know what I mean, down with the team, and that's on paper. But y'all thorough. You know the relationship in general because no, he of definitely goes He family. Yeah, he family. Yeah. See, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. And then I was so, listening to, uh, like, last week, I was listening to you and uh, Breezy old shit. Oh, 600 Breezy. Yeah, yeah. So my motherfucking brother. <laughs> yeah, man. Shout, Shout out, out Breezy. Yeah, man. See, you be all over the place with the music, <laughs> Shout dude. out Breezy. How the yeah. fuck did that come about? Yeah. Actually, uh, Breezy and uh, Rita Lee had a relationship, and mm. um, I was working on some music, and uh, I was in the studio with Chase Davis, and Rita Lee came through with 600 Breezy. And they was all through that kicking in, yeah. and you know we was all through that fucking around, and right. Come on, we just on this. yeah, and then we just started being around like you know every day, every other day, you know just doing music, knocking shit out, videos, records, and, yeah. you know. That's dope. So that's dope as hell though, man. Family. Real shit, real yeah. shit, and that's thorough, man. Because you know some people that been to you know been in the game so long that they feel like they don't gotta <laughs> really, you know. Young, I love young connecting with you, you know me? dope ass so, artists, bro. Just dope ass real niggas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Who are you listening to on the uh, on the Chicago scene and music in general? Man, the niggas that run Chicago music, shit, mm-hmm. shit, Dirk Herbo, shit. Uh, you know all the dope ass shit, man. Yeah, yeah. That's dope as hell. Yeah, that's dope as hell. Man. So, it- it's crazy, bro. We really sitting here with Parquet, bro. Like, this motherfucker, he humbled as hell. He a real legend in this motherfucker. Uh, <laughs> this nigga, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, his like his catalog is hefty as hell from the yeah, features yeah. to his body of work. Uh, this nigga just humbled as hell. He acting like this shit. shit ain't nothing, man. Yeah, shit. Nah, we just cool. We just having a regular <laughs> conversation. Yeah, nah, man. for real. Let's talk about it, you yeah, know what shit. I'm saying? So, going back to the, to the tape, to the album, man, American Greed. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna lie. The shit, I like it because you got a song for, you know what I mean? You got each type of person that listen to music, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, it's so full as hell with the beat selection, mm-hmm. you yeah. know what I mean? So I respect that. That's some real lyrical shit. No, but then in you, Chicago. You feel me? Real shit. in Chicago. You real know, that's shit. how I sound. So, real shit. you know, I'm going to give you that for the bread and meat all the time. And, and, then, you got, and then you go from the billion skit. Then you come through with the hard shit, with the soulful joint, and then you go right into count. 
<laughs> and that shit so cold. Like, nah, nah, man, G, that need a video. I appreciate it. Nah, I, I, I suppose it did a video to count, man. I might end up doing that. That need man. a video, bro. I what was talking shit? to a few videographers lately. That shit, yeah. That What's shit. your favorite song that you made? On the tape, on the, on the project. Yeah. All of them. Yeah, All of them. I feel that. That's real. That's real. All of them, my favorite. Yeah, because you took your time with it. I like the one you did, you know what I mean, for your songs. That's cold. Yeah, that was, that's that probably touching. that's probably my favorite favorite. Yeah, you know what I mean? That's Pick on the track. Uh, actually, did that record the day after their mother passed. Yeah. Wow. And uh, it was kind of rough getting it out, but mm -hmm. like actually, it wasn't so rough getting it out. But you know, it was like a. That shit came out, and then just listening to it, I was like, how the fuck did I get this out? It was like therapeutic. Like, because, yeah, because it was like, you know, sometimes you you know, you know be so hurt, you can't even get that type of shit. And respect for your loss, too. Yeah. No, yeah. I appreciate yeah. it. My condolences, bro. No, I appreciate it. Yeah. But uh, would you do some uh, features with any underground rappers? Hell yeah, man. I mm. rock with niggas, man. Niggas yeah. tough. They hard. You, yeah. man, let's do it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? How can they reach out to you to uh, get a feature? Man, you could uh you could email me uh at uh parkbb one at gmail dot com. Mm -hmm. uh, or you can uh you know jump in my DM parkbb two yeah. uh on Instagram. Real shit. Real talk. So now that COVID is over, you think you're gonna start rocking some shows? Yeah, you know, some shit open, some shit that's worth, you know what I'm saying, rocking. You yeah. know what I'm saying? The money right. right. The bag right, the money right. I mean, shit, yeah, venue, all that cool shit, yeah. like all that shit right. Like, mm -hmm. you know, we rocking and rolling. Yeah, yeah. And they can reach you, promoters and managers and shit, they can reach you the same email, same yeah, place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. Sure. Just get right at me. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's so, real. My cameraman had a question, too. He was saying, what about, like, upcoming cameramans? Would they be able to work with you, like? Yeah, I'm willing to rock out with motherfuckers. Yeah. Okay. You know yeah. what I'm saying? As long as they thorough. Whatever yeah. they do, what as long as they DJs? thorough. Because, you know, he a DJ, so look, bro, trying <laughs> to get this bed in. Yeah, I ain't mad. Real shit. Real I ain't shit. Doing shit. Yeah, Smoke Vision's supposed to be here, but uh, for sure. I'm going to lock y'all in. For... Real shit. No, my dog. Real shit. What kind of music do you think you make? More hip hop, more rap? So That's how I know you listen to podcast music. Who? You listen to the music. That's how I did. So oh, I'm just, I'm oh, you want him to describe it? Yeah, okay, kind of okay. I'm about to say, because to me, it speaks for itself. Yeah, like. Well, you know, you got to ask the artist what kind of he, how he feel about his own music. Mm-hmm. No, nah, I make hip-hop. I make I make dope-ass hip-hop shit. Okay. Like, you know what I mean? Like, like I just love making music. My mm -hmm. shit is, you know, my shit is like. A nigga can make all kind of shit, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But, you know, yeah, but right, just hip hop, them, yeah, yeah, I can't just like, but hip hop definitely, you know. And I, I think know. that's what makes hip hop hip hop. Well, it don't matter what type of music it is, I can make it. That's the artistry of it. And I think as long as you got artistry, you hip hop. You, no, you but like, definitely hip hop. Because it's, like, it's some cats who just make one. Like you listen to an album and it just sounds like one long ass song. Mm -hmm. You feel me? They just one dimensional. They got the same flow. They rap on the same type of beats. Right. You feel me? But this shit is a real masterpiece. Man, I appreciate That's it. Dog. Dog. I super yeah. appreciate it, bro. Like you feel me? I don't really say that shit about like a lot of artists who we got on the show. You feel me? But that shit really, like as far as the engineering of the shit. Mm -hmm. The the production, the way you got the songs flowing, you feel me? The skits, how they come in, like most people they do like the the skits, then it's the track. Yeah, you had to like the skits blend into the track. You feel me? Yeah. Like it was it was uh -huh. really like a you feel me? And as an artist myself, and, you, and as a fan of music, you feel that shit. Like you appreciate that type of shit. You know what I mean? Nah, that's so, what's up, bro. So real. So shit, who's your really favorite producer to work with? Say it again. Who your favorite producer to work with? Chase Davis. Mm -hmm. Oh damn, I ain't gonna lie, Chase Davis. Yeah, man. He, he, got been, it. he been he been turned the last couple. Yeah. I say the last uh, two years. Yeah, he got it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Shout out to Chase Davis. We need you on the show too, man. Uh, yeah, sure. yeah, and uh, it's a bandit. Yeah, yeah. Them two. Like, yeah, he cold too. He got it. Cause too. you know Chase Davis being from the city. Do y'all got a personal relationship? 
Oh yeah, that's my little bro. You know, yeah. I was the first nigga to ever rap over Chase Davis. Whoa. Mm. Yeah. Chase my little bro. Damn. Mm. That's some gems right there. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Chase was staying in the house with me, like we were staying in the house together, whatever, and he was back in the back uh making beats. Mm. And he been making beats, but you know, I never like, you know, paid attention to it. And then <laughs> one day he was making some godfather sound and shit, like in the back, like some sample godfather shit. Man, that shit was so crazy. I walked in the back like, man, what the fuck? He don't know I'm even in the room listening yeah. to that shit. I'm rapping. I'm going off this shit. So then when the beat stop, I'm like, nah, loop that bitch again. Right. Man. Come on, I think we got one. We got one right here. Yeah, Come on. so then he found my pocket from there, and he started yeah. making shit in that pocket, and yeah. he just started rocking around. That's how it is. Once yeah. he found your comfort zone and shit, y'all it That's dope, man. Yeah. took off. Chemistry. Yeah. Chemistry. That's I'll dope as hell. That's yeah. all it really takes, G. Real yeah, shit. Nah, that shit crazy. Yeah, yeah. Man, so how is it seeing his progression coming from making beats in the back of the crib to being on dirt shit, herb shit? I mean, you know, he going you know, he one of the ones. Shit, mm -hmm. he come under the umbrella. Mm -hmm. You know, he one of the ones. I'm proud of him. You know what I'm saying? He, you know, I know he's gonna do great. Yeah, he's yeah. around a lot of legends. You he know? gonna get, yeah, he gonna get bigger. You what? keep talking about this crib, man. Like, <laughs> how you what? gotta have some of the people coming through the crib. That shit crazy. Like, you really are like a a staple, bro. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. You said Sci High was in the crib. You had, oh, yeah, you know man. what I mean? You got Chase in the crib. That shit crazy, yeah. bro. Like, yeah, man. You, you like a magnet <laughs> to find the talent, bro. You ever That's think funny. about being an AR? Uh, Nah, I haven't, man. But uh, you know, I always see talent all the time. Could you see yourself like in a position to be an A and I like that? Yeah, I hope like one day. Hmm. Makes sense. I can see that. I can one see day. that for sure. You so, know what I mean? one of my last questions: Have you ever thought about going to the major side or staying independent? Uh, it just depends on the situation. Yeah. Mm. You know. Because you might need the majors to get your independent shit popping, you know. Mm. Yeah, because bump independent still ain't he? Yeah. Okay, so it's yeah. like when he came out, he was still full fledged independent. Yeah. Oh, damn. damn. And the Goon Squad, that's an independent label, correct? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. For so sure. it's like okay, so that's being an independent entity, and I've done heard from multiple radio stations and people doing interviews of people in Chicago. How the hell has Goon Squad? kept the buzz going from early 2000s to 2021 even just remain uh, in chicago history when you talk about chicago history man gangsters don't die man we mm. we, we everywhere yeah yeah we just, we we everywhere you know what i mean no shit. we everywhere no shit. and especially when like the movement was so real and so strong like even when everybody was sitting down and you know what i mean it was just really you out here still rapping the banner you feel me like it was still. Like, how was squad. that? It was. You feel me? Well, I mean, I mean, when I was down, Bump was out rapping. You yeah. Know? Mm -hmm. When Bump was down, I was out rapping. Yeah. You know. So yeah. it was always somebody still rapping the squad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sly. Yeah. You know. Yeah. That's facts. That's facts, man. So we got a few more minutes. You know what I mean? So, you got any shout outs or anything you want to tell to the people, or you know what I mean? Any announcements you want to make? Oh, uh, well, American Greed 2 done already. Mm. Okay, I'm okay. I'm anticipating that. Yeah, yeah American Greed for that. 2 done. Um, shit, uh, I'm ready to uh, start doing some videos for that. Yeah. Um, and uh, I'm actually in the mix, of, uh, getting the mix to master right now. Uh -huh. So, so that's coming soon, road. soon. Any, yeah, yeah. Um, any features on it outside the city? Uh, so far, well, what I got on there, I got Don P from Maywood. Okay. Yeah, shout out Capital P. Mm -hmm. Uh, and I got a uh, Bomb J, of course. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So, so far, I just got those two. I ain't sure. gonna lie, man. We need to see an EP, at least a five song EP from you and Bomb, man. Y'all yeah, going man. back and yeah. forth. Yeah. We, we gonna speak that to existence yeah. on this show, man. Yeah. When this interview <laughs> drop, we gonna put that in the airways. <laughs> Part K and Bomb J dropping EP this summer. Yeah. <laughs> Got to, got to. You got so, anything you want to say to like the young niggas coming up, young artists? 
Man, artists. shit. Keep doing y'all shit. Stay inspired, man. Um, you know, stay motivated, man. Shit. You know, don't let shit discourage you, man. Just keep going, you know. Shit, uh, I was watching the genius shit, the Kanye shit, and that shit just motivated, and that shit inspired me, you know, and let me know that, you know, people don't know shit, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? They go in, go in there with all them execs, and, 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 and people didn't pay them no mind, you yeah. know what I mean? But all the time, this was the biggest shit. Yeah, you know that's what real. I mean? So, yeah. it's just like, man, niggas just gotta stay motivated, keep doing their shit, and don't yeah. let nothing stop them. That's facts, that's facts. That's game right there. So we're going to get into it, man. You already know, before we get up out of here, we got the honor right here. We got my brother for show, Parquet oh in the building. Yes, sir. Yeah, Love G. Know. Yes, sir, Love man. G. Love G. Love G. This shit. Love G. So I once like again, it. man, where can they find you at on the social media and then also give them your business contact so we don't really put this shit I out. Yeah, spit the email out again for the artists that want to get the features from me. I, uh, my email, Parquet BB1 at Gmail. Uh, you know, my Instagram, Parquet BB2. Yeah. So, you know, link in, get in my DM, uh, you know, hit my email. Let me know what you're trying to do. Real shit. Let me know what it is. Yeah. All right, y'all. You know the vibes. Thank y'all for tuning in. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for listening, man. Y'all have a blessed and prosperous day. We got my brother Parkan in the building. Yes, we got my brother DJ Don Ryan in the you building. Know. We got my brother Boss Chav in yo, the building. Yo. And I am Tone Diesel, Tony G, Big Money Tony. And you can reach us at G Talk 2020 on all social media platforms. And if you want to be a guest on the show or join the Patreon and everything else we got going on, and just figure out where we gonna be at and what events we hosting and whatnot. Follow the G Talk 2020 page. Follow the Boss Chav Double Zero page. DJ underscore Don Ryan. Two ends. Two ends. Don't two ends. The two ends. <laughs> you know what I mean? And Tone underscore Diesel. So y'all be blessed. Y'all Catch be prosperous. Me at where you at tonight? No, nah, be our Wednesday. Temptations Friday and Saturday. Mm-hmm. Be lit, man. For sure. All right, we out. You put that outro. <laughs> yeah, I love it, bro. The killer that all right, right. Yeah. Be all right. We live in blue sky. Go my turn to light. All right, all right, all right. I'm gonna probably put this shit out either tonight or tomorrow. Let's get to it. Let's get to it.